To Catch a Neighbour is the 24th episode of the second season of The Golden Girls. This is, of course, directed by Terry Hughes, and it's absolutely fantastic. It's funny, it's dramatic, it's everything that I love. And honestly, it might be one of the strongest episodes in quite a while. As always, there will be spoilers as I go through the narrative and share some thoughts. I have some quotes that I want to share. One of the moments... There's one moment that's very funny. I watched it four times, more so because I was listening out for the sound and it took me four times to really hear it. But I'll I'll talk about that when we get there. It starts off with the McDowell's, the new neighbours. They leave and then there's a knock at the door and it's Detective Mullins and his associate Bobby Hopkins. Mullins is played by Joseph Campanella and Hopkins is played by George Clooney. And apparently the McDowells are dealers in stolen jewels and Mullins and Hopkins want to stay in the girls' home to observe the neighbours and and obviously try and catch them out. And initially, Sophia and Dorothy are saying no. Blanche and Rose are saying yes. And (laughs) ultimately, they they agree to let them stay and they're going to take over a bedroom in the kitchen. And Sophia's response is, is to say, we'll just cook in the fireplace and pee in the broom closet, which I absolutely loved. We then cut to three days later, and apparently Dorothy has been fighting with Mullins, but it turns out she actually rather likes him, which is really lovely to see. And it also turns out that Mullins can hear everything Sophia has been been saying to him because he's got the cans on, the, the headphones, listening to, to whatever he's listening to. And Sophia is saying horrible things to him and he just kind of smiles at her and, and raises his his coffee cup as if to say yeah I'm, I can hear you I'm, I'm listening when Sophia thinks he can't hear her and then it's revealed that actually he heard all of it and because Sophia seemed to get a kick out of bad mouthing him he just kind of let her get on with it which I thought was adorable and then <laughs> I will try not to laugh too much, but there are... I'm looking down my notes and I can see so many brilliant quotes. Mrs. McDowell then comes over and and she's there very briefly and then everybody gets invited to her house for dinner and then Mullins and Hopkins are saying that this would be a great opportunity for one of them to be a plant. <laughs> and as soon as Rose said what she said, I knew somebody would retort what they did. She says, I'll do it. I'll be a plant. And it was Sophia who said, you are a plant, which I knew, I knew it was coming, but I found it very, very funny. Dorothy is then tossing and turning all night. She's worried because they've decided, well, she decided actually that she'd be the best person to be the plant because she's the best under pressure in high stress situations, but she's still worrying about it. And then... Rose and and the others and Dorothy are sitting in front of the, uh, well, in front of the television on the sofa and Rose talks about a TV show that she wanted to watch and it's about this murder. And Dorothy, obviously very anxious about this situation, takes the, the magazine, the TV guide, and thwacks Rose on the head with it. And Rose has never looked so angry. I might include a picture of this on, on, on the screen just now. She is staring daggers into the side of Dorothy's head. Very, very funny, brilliant facial expression. And off they go to dinner. And then immediately they come back into the house and they're they're talking and they're happy and it, it went to plan. They planted the the bug and then Dorothy and Mullins are alone briefly and Blanche is mothering Hopkins, which is quite sweet to see. And then it's the middle of the night and this is... <laughs> This is when it gets dramatic, and this is the bit that I watched, I think, four, maybe five times. They're all in their their nightwear. Hopkins and and Mullins are are running out of the house, and they're told to to get down and stay down. And and we have Dorothy, Blanche, Rose, and Sophia in a line, huddled together in front of the sofa. And the way it's framed is perfect. Brilliant camera work. Very well done. And then Rose says... (laughs) She says, what was that? And Sophia says, that was me. Thank you for calling it to everyone's attention. Now, I don't like far humour. I do not care. I never find it funny. But it was Sophia's response, just the way she said, thank you for calling it to everyone's attention. It was just, it was just brilliant. The comedy 
in her delivery was just absolute perfection. And the reason I watched it three or four or five times, I can't remember, quite a few times, is because the noise didn't really sound like a fart. And I think it, it took me until the third or fourth rewatch to finally hear it. It just didn't sound quite right to me. And then once I heard it, <laughs> and then I saw Sophia's facial expressions, it was just, it was perfect. And then we hear shots. And then, obviously it's very dramatic. We don't know if anybody's being shot. And Mullins comes uh, comes running in to, to use the phone. Hopkins has been shot. And we cut to the hospital. And, and Hopkins is fine. It just hit his shoulder, thankfully. And he's doing okay. And then Dorothy decides that she doesn't want to date Mullins because she'd just be worrying about him all the time. And it's it's not going to make for a pleasant life, which obviously sucks for Dorothy, but that must really suck for Mullins. And I imagine anybody in a similar situation that is in a very dangerous profession to have people worrying about you all the time must be must be quite a lot. Definitely must be a lot. And then Sophia tries to set Dorothy up with a, a doctor, and it was it was a, a kind of light-hearted way to end things. It is a heavy episode in times, but it's also very, very funny, and I just absolutely loved every second of it. It was it was fantastic, and as I said, I think one of the strongest episodes in a while. We're very nearly end of season two, and I couldn't say it's the best of season two. I'd have to have a look back over some of the others. But it's definitely a, a contender, definitely very high up there. To Catch a Neighbour is a really brilliant episode of The Golden Girls.